Hello everyone, it's me Clayton. I just finished watching episode 5 for The Proud Family Louder and Prouder, which is Snackland. Snackland, for those who aren't aware, not that I'd blame you, is Oscar's big gimmick for combining his love of creating those absolutely terrible proud snacks with theme parks. And the result is something that's about as disastrous as Bethesda Land when it comes to the actual land part of it. But it makes for a pretty solid episode with some pretty funny gags. Well, let's get to the story, shall we? Oscar creates Snackland, which is which ends up being a ripoff of someone else's idea for I'm guessing the Frito Lay Corporation. And it turns out that Penny and her old singing, singing group have to perform with the help of Bobby Proud. Only problem is Penny's voice has changed. At least her singing voice has to sound very much like Tone Loke, who also provides her singing voice for the episode. Not only that, but it turns out Oscar also hired Lizzo, who is a musical artist I've never heard of before, to basically replace Penny for her performance at the park. Plus, even though Oscar's rides are clearly poorly designed and obviously dangerous, people still love going there for some reason. Either they're a bunch of masochists, or it's like action park, where the danger is part of the experience. So Oscar's theme park becomes a success despite all of the despite despite all logic working against it. And Penny has to learn to accept her vo new singing voice for what it is, as the performance could go on without her. So yeah, that's the episode, and I was I was mainly joking when I compared Snackland to Bethesda Land, considering that one was more basic than your average county fair. Whereas with Fourth Snackland, it does feel a lot more like Action Park, where that park was clearly very dangerous when it when it came out, but people flocked to the park because of the danger, despite the threats of many lawsuits. And it feels like they tried to go for something similar with this episode. And Oscar, being the gullible man that he is, of course went along with it, even though that wasn't his original intention. Plus. I think Sugar Mama said it best, if people don't like your snacks, why would they want to ride in them? Well, Oscar always has his tons of get-rich-quick schemes and doesn't seem to learn from his mistakes, so I figured that he would go for this sort of thing. And thankfully, Lizzo, even though she's a celebrity guest appearance that I've literally never heard of before, I thought she was pretty good for what she could provide in this episode. She had a decent musical number, she had a good lesson to teach Penny, all that stuff. She even has her own gimmick, gimmicky bodyguard, who did make for some funny slapstick with Oscar. Man, Oscar gets beaten up by a lot of women in this season, who aren't just his mother. But aside from that, I definitely think it's a bit odd that they chose Maya to replace Penny, considering I don't think we've ever heard her sing prior to this point, but I'm guessing she's on the level that Dijanae, La Cienega, and Zoe are. On top of that, it's kind of it's also kind of funny that uh, that they've been setting up future episodes a bit more than the previous than the previous season of uh, Proud Family. Whereas that show was mostly episodic throughout, this one feels like it's going for an entire season long story arc. And I'm just noticing that halfway through. And honestly, if they happen to go through a season long story arc that actually changes the characters in a significant way, I'm all for it. But if its seriality ends up being mostly just there for window dressing, I'm not going to like it. But we'll see how that goes for the last five episodes. But until then, I'll see you on the next time, at the same time, next Proud channel at the Disney Plus.